We couldn't even bury our child. My only thought was, thank God he is at least put out of his agony. The Bearings left their devastated farm hut. Of the 3,000 natives who fled to the highlands, more than a thousand died. They suffered horrific burns from ash and pumice. Elsewhere, it was the tsunami that killed. Captain Lindemann was awarded the Cross of Gold by the Dutch authorities for his bravery in saving the lives of those on board the Loudoun. His logbook provided an invaluable insight into the eruption of Krakatoa. He captained the Loudoun until his death, just two years later. The eruption destroyed 165 coastal villages and it left more than 36,000 people dead. There were reports of bodies and pumice being washed up on the coast of Africa a year later. The Dutch authorities ordered 250,000 gallons of gasoline to be used in the burning of the bodies. continued working for the Dutch government for the next 13 years before he retired to Holland. Johanna Behring's account of the eruption was reported around the world. She remained with her husband, Willem, and soon became pregnant again. She named her youngest child, 
after the one she lost in the hillsides of Sumatra. You must go to Kaya. You must find your family. Yes, Nunya. Nothing is known of what happened to Takaya or his family. There are no records. Roger Verbeek's work on Krakatoa went on to become the foundation of modern volcanology. It provided scientists with a detailed eyewitness account of the entire cycle of an eruption for the first time in history. The eruption had far-reaching effects. 20 million tons of sulfur were released into the atmosphere, causing extraordinary sunsets across the planet and lowering global temperatures well into the 20th century. Of Krakatoa itself, almost nothing remained. Twelve square miles of solid rock had disappeared in the space of 48 hours. The volcano had literally blasted itself apart. But in 1927, from 300 meters below the Sunda Straits, it erupted again. As Verbeek predicted in his writings, a new volcano formed, growing at a rate of five meters every year. The Indonesians called this volcano Anak Krakatoa, son of Krakatoa. Today, millions of people live within sight of it. and it's still growing.